table map. In this video, we're going to review how to start building your table map. Now, during the installation process, we imported all of your tables and seating groups from your tables app. Let's start by going to our manage site at www.cdigitalmenu.com slash manage. Do this on your laptop or your PC. For right now, we recommend not designing your table map on the Clover Station simply because it's much easier to change the size of your tables and walls using a mouse. It's a little bit more difficult to do it with your finger. To log in, use the email address and Clover pin that can be found in the Employees app. The only employees that will have access to the Manage site will be the users with the roles of an admin or a manager. Now let's get started by tapping on Tables to access our table map. Now when you open this for the very first time, your tables will be located all in the main room. If you access this during the middle of the day, any tables that currently have orders open, you will not be able to edit these. This is simply to prevent the possibility of deleting a table and losing the order. We recommend building your table map before or after regular business hours. Let's go ahead and create a new room. Go ahead and tap the green button labeled plus room. Next, we'll type in the name of the room. And for this one, let's just call it patio. Tap create room when you're ready to save. Now, you'll see the new room appear on the list of your rooms right above the table map. Now, if you want to keep your existing tables and move them to your new room, you can do it one at a time, or you can do it by selecting multiple tables. To select multiple tables, you can click and hold on your mouse and drag the red box around the tables that you want. Or, you can simply hold down on the control key on your keyboard and then click on each table. When you're ready to move the tables, choose the room from the drop-down box here and tap the button Change Room. This will then move the selected tables from your main room over to the new room that you just created. If you would like to start fresh, you can select all of your tables and then drag them to the trash can or you can simply tap delete on your keyboard. This will remove the tables from your table map and from the tables app. Now remember, if there's an order on it, you will not be able to delete it. So let's go to our patio room and let's create some new tables. To create a new table or a wall, you can find these under the Create Object tab. Here you'll find square tables, round tables, semicircle tables, bar stools, and walls. Let's add a few square tables first. To do this, click and hold on whatever kind of table that you want, and then drag it from the tab on the left over to the table map. Let go of the mouse to drop the table into the room. And let's do a couple more. Now you'll notice that the table number is automatically assigned to it. Don't worry, you can always go back and change it if you want. Now that we have a table, we can edit a few of the characteristics of it. Go ahead and tap the table to select it, and let's look at the Properties tab on the left-hand side. Here you can change the shape of a table by clicking any of these options. Quickly change it to a square or a circle. You can change the name of the table to something more custom. You can rotate a table 45 degrees to the left or to the right. You can use these sliders here to adjust the size and the width of the table. And you can change the number of seats for a table here. For changing the size of a table or an object, you can also use your mouse. Just move the cursor to the edge of the table or the wall and click and drag to adjust the size. Divider lines are to represent if there are two tables that are put together. Now if you want to change the number of seats for multiple tables at the same time, just select the tables that you want to change. Under Properties, you can choose the number of seats. Just tap the number of seats that you want to change it to. Another great feature is the Space Evenly feature. If you want to align your tables and space them evenly, so let's select all the tables that we want. From your tools to the left, choose Space Evenly. If you want to align your tables horizontally, then let's start by selecting the horizontal line first. For a vertical alignment, tap the vertical line. When you're ready, use the slider by moving it left or to the right to change the spacing between the objects. The further you move the slider to the right, the more space there will be between the objects. Now anytime you see a yellow outline around an object, this means that it needs to be saved. Just tap the save button in the upper left hand of the page. Finally, let's add a few walls and objects to our map. Under the Create Object tab, 
These brown rectangles can be used for walls and other objects. Let's start with the wall. Let's drag it over to our table map and let's stretch it the length of the room. Now you can repeat this option for each wall needed. Now let's create a bar. We'll take this brown rectangle and let's drag it over to the map here. Let's go ahead and adjust the size. And if we want to give a name to our bar, we can enter it here in our text box. Finally, let's change the color of our bar to green. Under Properties, tap the color box. Here you can choose the color that you wish. Now let's add a few bar stools to our bar. So let's go back up to our Create Objects tab, and these small circles here are actually the bar stools. So let's drag that from here and we'll place them next to our bar. Now once we're finished, let's just tap Save. Now once you open Table Map on Clover, your rooms and tables will be activated and you can begin using Table Map. If you have any questions or need any additional help, please don't hesitate to give us a call at 425-296-7409 or you can always email us at support at cdigitalmenu.com. C Digital Menu is continually adding new benefits and features. If there's a feature that you think could help your business, let us know. We want to make the best app for your business.